Hi there. I'm going to show you how to separate the resources from the activities. You're going to go into your site administration over here. And then you're going to go into courses. And then activity chooser settings. Open this up. And then you're going to choose, notice here, You've got Start Recommended, All Activities and Resources. You've got those tabs. These are all tabs. You can play around with them, decide how you want it. But for this course, you need to have them separated. So click on that and then Save Changes. Now let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to go into My Courses over here and then Turn editing on. Notice it's on. Go into add an activity or resource and notice now they are separated. OK, the activities. OK, these are the activities and the resources are now separated. Let me go back now and show you what it looks like when they're not separated. Going to go into courses. And then we're looking at Activity Chooser. Click on Activity Chooser. And then here we're going to go to this one. Save Changes. Go back into our course, My Courses. Here it is. And then when I click on Add an Activity or Resource, notice they're all together, all. And I, we don't want that. OK, I want you to learn the differences between the two. So we're going to back back into the site administration courses and then scroll down until I get to activity chooser. And then go back to the top one. Activities and resources are now separated and then click on save changes. And now when I go back to my courses, notice I only have here only one and then add an activity or resource. I will have a list of activities. I will have all if I want to. But then I could also have them separated resources and activities. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.